guys, it's Nikki and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today's pack with me video. I am very excited for today's video because we are heading back to Walt Disney World from January 2nd through the 8th for Run Disney. So I did do a couple of videos about my training and all of that. Ended it doing really, really well. I actually just did my last outdoor run yesterday. Today is December 31st, so happy almost new year. By the time you're watching this, we should be like a weekend or so. But I am very pumped for our Run Disney vacation. Um, Jackson and I and our two friends are all going together, and we're all running the half marathon. We have our costumes ready. Everything is pretty much organized on... <clears throat> of everything that I need to bring. I have all of my outfits laid out and I did a really good job of like just over the past maybe a month or so if I knew I was going to take it on this trip I just set it to the side so I knew that that is what that was for and I didn't lose it. I did buy a couple of extra like fun items um, for this trip specifically so didn't need to wear those anytime soon so just set those to the side made a couple of fun things so that's really exciting i'll show you what all of those are um but overall i'm pretty much ready to pack i'm going to walk you through all of my outfits and everything that i have already laid out i do have to go grab two things before i do that i still need to get like all of my electronics i have most of my like park bag stuff and just like random items that i bring on vacation ready to go but i still need to get a couple of items put together i don't know if i'll do that today or tomorrow i don't leave until tuesday so i do have a couple of days still but very excited ready for some hopefully warmer weather than what we're getting now this is where we currently are at it is actually very organized so we will start over here so this is, oops, so this is going to be my travel outfit and then my Disney Springs outfit. So Tuesday, I'm going to travel in our spirit jersey that we got last year for marathon weekend. It was like the 30 years running, so it was like 90s vibes. And then I've been loving traveling in these pants. These are from Target. I'll leave a link down below if they're still available. And then for dinner, we're actually going to Summer House. For the first time, it just opened. And I have this uh, tangled shirt from Uniqlo that I'm just going to wear with jeans. And then I'll have my Nikes probably on from traveling. So that is Tuesday. And then Wednesday is the Expo Day. So... We found this really cute, like, run, run, run shirt with Donald and Mickey and Goofy from Amazon. We're just going to wear, like, black bikers with that. And then we actually are going to dinner at Topolino's that night. So I have that outfit there, too. And then for my shoes that night, I'm going to wear my new ones that Jackson got me for Christmas. So these are so cute. So wearing those to dinner with my new bag that is in there and then Wednesday no that is Wednesday Thursday we're going to Epcot and we are wearing and I say we because Alyssa and I like matching every outfit um our Zippity's t-shirt that is their half marathon theme one they have so many cute uh run Disney and just like shirts in general like this is one of theirs and I have another one down there and then Thursday, Friday, we are going back to Topolino's for a character breakfast. And then we're going to Hollywood Studios. So just wearing um, the black skirt with this Believe in Magic shirt that we got from Shop Disney. Also, Green. just like a bunch of black leggings and then a couple of like extra pairs of shorts. I don't know what the weather is going to be like. It might be cold. might be a little warm for a couple of hours. So... I have the skirt planned, but might switch over to leggings for that. And then Saturday is the big race day. So I have every 
piece of item for my costume here. Jackson's costume is down here, so I just need to throw that with mine. And then I have all of like my accessories, so I have my water bottle that I'll bring when I'm running. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet. I might wear my white hat. If it rains, I'm probably going to wear a hat and then just like put the bow by my ponytail or wear a high pony with the bow. And then I have my pink bag. This is not for the race specifically, but I just have a couple of new run at Disney stickers on my shop Casey's Corner. So those are cute. And then my game plan is to make like one of these stickers for all of the weekends that I end up doing. And I'll probably have to make it smaller because if I'm gonna fit all of them on here, but that's the game plan. And then after the race, we'll go back, take a nap, shower, and then we're gonna go to Magic Kingdom. So we're going to wear that light blue skirt down there. And then a shirt we're getting at the expo to take like our race pictures. And then I just have like a couple of different sweatshirts. So I have my Every Mile of Magic sweatshirt I'm bringing. I made these for us in my runner era. And then, so our, if you've watched my Run Disney videos, you know that we're gonna do Dopey next year. And so we got these sweatshirts because we wanna take a picture. Um, so we're like in our Dopey era. Um, officially, hopefully. We still have to register, but good vibes. And then a couple of extra things um, just for the race in general. I have my body glide that I need to get out of here. Uh, we got the KT, K, KT tape, just in case. I have my like massager for after the race. And then that's pretty much it. Um, oh, I do have in here, so in here, I think I just got my extra accessories that I'm wearing, yep, and then I have these for like our bibs. We just bought like a pack, I think like six or maybe. I have our Mylar blankets somewhere in here. I think maybe down here? No, that's not it. I don't know where they're at. They're somewhere around here. Um, but then all of this is just like extra stuff. All of my new Wemo guys and their outfits are in here. I'm not gonna open it because it's like slammed shut. But these are our pins for trading. Again, this is at Jackson's. Oh, there are Mylar blankets. So I have a lot in here. We have a pack of 10. I don't know if I'll bring all 10. I might. And then if someone needs one, we can just hand them out to them. Um, it might be a little chilly in the morning. Still not totally sure. So Jackson's costume is right there, ready to go. And then these are just like my extra random large pouches. So this has all my toiletries in it, everything I don't need. Currently got some BioFreeze, all the things ready for race weekend in there. And then these are my extra accessories. So I have my silk pillowcase that I like bringing, my little fan, I have to get our other fan too. And then I have my eye mask. And then just like my things I need for the park. I have my magic bands in here. Some, um, whatchamacallit, uh, rubbery straw things that I always bring, but honestly, never really use. I always just forget about them. So all of that can go in here, and I'm actually going to stick. I have this, like, mirror that I'm going to bring to just because there are four of us in the one room. So if somebody needs to use the bathroom while we need to get ready, we'll have an extra mirror. And then Sunday, we're going to Animal Kingdom and doing something really exciting. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out what we're doing. And then Monday, we go home. So I'll probably just wear one of my sweatshirts or something home on Monday. But this is the gist of it all. Again, I have a couple of like an ex extra pair of jeans, some shorts, just extra pair of leggings, just in case. It's only gonna be like 65, and sometimes that's cold in Florida. And I have all my ears in here as well. Um, oh, I'm bringing my jean jacket. I always like wearing this on travel day just because it's an extra layer and it's easy to like layer um, that with other things. 
And then my bag situation. So I am taking my duffel. And then I'm going to take my fanny pack. Alyssa made these for us and gave this to me for my birthday this year, which is really cute. And then I'm going to bring my Dooney and Burke backpack. I haven't used this one in a while. And then we actually made these. We just bought the bag on Amazon. Bought the letters on Amazon. Glued them down. Because um, we wanted a cute run Disney one. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, it is fairly big. Has a water bottle holder on each side. I still don't know if my water bottle fits in there. I have to check. But I think it'll work for sure. Um, and I really like the color too. So those are the bags that I'm bringing. I also have my duffel. And I think that should be it. If you are doing run Disney, do not pack anything you need for the race in your check bag. Gosh forbid something happens with your check bag, you want to make sure that your race will still be successful. So I have all of our race stuff in a, their own packing cube and that's going to go in my purple carry-on. Everything else will be in here. Uh, clothes wise but just make sure you have anything that you need for your race so your shoes if you have like a larger costume then just put your and you can't fit it in your carry-on just throw it in here and then make sure you have like leggings or shirt whatever you need for your race that goes in your carry-on goes in your carry-on don't pack anything you need for your race in your check bag so these are all of our, my clothes. I have it um, by day. I normally sometimes will do like shirts in one, pants in one, but I just did this one by day. So they really fit all of my outfits that I need for every day in here. And then I have one with all of my sweatshirts. And then all of my like extra pants and stuff just because I don't know like weather wise. So I'm just bringing extra shorts, leggings, that will go in there. And then always bring the rain gear. So I have a poncho that goes in my carry-on. I just honestly keep it in there. I don't think I've ever like actually take it out unless I need to bring it to the parks. But going to bring a rain jacket just in case. My thought is if I have it, it's not gonna rain. 
if I don't have it, then it's going to rain and I wish I would have had it and I don't have to spend $30 on a Disney poncho. We have plenty of times, but we're not going to this time around. All right, so I have all of my clothes in here and then I can put my one big toiletry um, large pouch in here as well. Sometimes I'll use my large pouch, sometimes I'll use my hanging one. All star sports and value resorts in general don't have great hanging space, but they have a lot of shelves. So went with the large pouch this time. And then I'll probably throw a pair of shoes in here. And then on this side, I can just put some other random things. Now I'm gonna get my, now I'm gonna get my carry-on bag out now too because I wanna be able to like go back and forth on where things need to go. Stitch all of these items minus my socks are gonna probably go in my duffel. I was going to bring another backpack, my Dooney and Burke backpack, got rid of that. I probably should close this and see how much that one weighs. I still have just a small toiletries like for my face wash and stuff to put in there. And then carry-on is good. I'm just also making sure that I have enough um, room for items that I purchase when we're down there. So yeah. I think I'm going to go get my scale thingy. And just weigh that, see where it's at. I have my two pairs of shoes in here. I'm bringing, I'm wearing a pair of Nikes, bringing my running shoes and my carry-on. And then I have two more pairs of shoes in here. Got this for Christmas. It's like just a little shoe organizer. Love it. And yeah, so I'm gonna go get the wear, zip this up, see what it's at, and then go from there. Okay, so this is at 43, like 0.1. So that is like solid. Now I'm going to get all this stuff situated and then hopefully close up this one. I really want to take those plushies, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. We'll figure it out. escalated quickly but we are ready to go it is Tuesday morning and I'm heading to Walt Disney World okay we are already at the airport fun fact I got my bag checked for the first time in like probably May of the year and it's because my traders my trading pins but I'm gonna show you what my carry-ons look like and then we'll take you along while I travel Okay, so here is my travel carry-on. Let's start with the fanny pack. So this fanny pack will go on top. This is what I use for like park bag, just like my regular purse. So I have some lotion, a clip that I'm not gonna wear on the plane because if you know claw clips, it kinda hurts your head when you like put your head back. And then my mini fits in here, which is great. Always recommend packing a portable charger. That is definitely a must. And then obviously I have my away suitcase that I use. If you've never watched my pack with me, so I'll leave those linked down below for you. But in here I have like my ears, anything that might be just like a little bit more expensive that I would be really, really sad if got lost in my other luggage. But I do have an air tag in my checked bag, which pro tip, make sure you do that. 
and then I also have all of my running stuff so this is a run Disney vacation and all of my running things are in here even Jackson's I brought with me he's actually traveling tomorrow and then in here I just have a bunch of random stuff so I have my computer all my electronics my glasses my makeup this is like another I would say cabin bag besides my beauty pack I just have my gum my sunglasses magic band passport um, and then okay so I am taking mirrors over to all-star sports where we're staying normally if it's Please just Jackson and I we'll just do an Uber but since I'm doing beers, I have to go to baggage claim A, get my bags, and then we'll have to go down to baggage claim A, get my bag, and then I have to go over to baggage claim B, where you can pick up mirrors. So it's kind of a pain in the butt, but we will make it work for only $18. Let's head on over. Alright guys, so I totally forgot to end my pack with me and like travel day video in real time. So we're just going to end it now. I did want to say I don't think I would take mirrors again. It was just so long. We can normally get from the airport to Walt Disney World within 30 to 45 minutes at the latest and it almost took me two hours. I waited for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes in like the little lobby area and then we waited on the bus for a little bit. Thankfully we were the first stop for all the all-star resorts but we had to stop at Coronado Springs and then Animal Kingdom Lodge and it was just so frustrating because I just wanted to get to the resort. So I know mirrors is a great option for families, especially when you have kiddos that need car seats because it is like a larger bus and so car seats um, aren't needed. They do have seat belts if that makes you more comfortable, but I think in the future we will definitely stick to Ubers or Lyfts just because it's so much faster. Granted, it is a little bit more money, but I think you, you're just saving more time, especially if you're on a time crunch or a quick trip. We were not at that point but it just like the headache of it all it was like really annoying knowing that i could get there a lot faster and i couldn't do anything about it mirrors does have like an express that you can use that's a little bit more i should look into that maybe next time and compare those prices um but ubers and lyfts normally are like 40 to 50 dollars depending on the day sometimes you can get them cheaper but just wanted to give you that little tidbit of my experience through obviously like tons of private transportations that you can use as well. But overall, super easy travel day. Great pack with me. I did end up using a lot of the items that I took. I think I only had a couple of like shorts. It was a lot colder than we thought it was going to be. So I'm glad I brought the extra like leggings and jeans and items like that. But thank you so much for watching today's pack with me video. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Jumping back into YouTube for 2024, took a little bit of a break, but we are officially back at it. Um, so many fun Run Disney vlogs coming, and I still have my vlogs from our celebrity cruise that we went on over at Thanksgiving as well, but I wanted to get all of our Run Disney stuff out first. If you have any questions about Run Disney or Disney in general, Make sure you leave those in the comments down below. I am going to do like a Run Disney Q&A. So I want to get those answered for you. But I hope you guys have a magical rest of the day. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can be friends over here on YouTube. And I will see you real soon. Bye.